that works. Um, yeah. uh, so, you know, I think maybe next week we might have... Uh, oh, Wilfried's messaging me. That's, uh, Uh-oh. I heard you talking on the yep. podcast. Um, <laughs> sense. Yeah. So um, next week we might have Anthony Grimani on. He bought you know, the toolkit and we're like, I was like, Hey, I recognize this name. That's pretty cool. I know this guy. Mm-hmm. I've seen this guy before. Yeah. Anyway, I emailed him like, Hey, what's up, man? Um, maybe you should be on. And what's interesting is when we were talking about speaker placement before, right? Chana, you're yep. talking about your speaker placement of the front heights. Everybody was saying, Oh, go watch Anthony Gr- Grimani. He's going to school you, you know? So, hey, look, I'm, I'm here to be schooled. You know what I mean? Like, please school me. Yeah, let's see. Like, let's, please, let's hear you it. know, people pay for that, right? <laughs> you go yeah. to school to be, uh, you know, you pay for school. So if he's going to come on and school us, I'm I'm open to it, right? It, to me, the only way that you could look stupid is if somebody presents better information and you're unwilling to change. Yeah. Right? That's when you look stupid. But if it's like, oh, you know what? Then think about it like that. That's mm-hmm. interesting. Yeah. I, I probably had it wrong this whole time. Then it's, it's you're done. It's done. Yeah. I, I <laughs> now don't you're mind. not so stupid. I, I don't mind, you know, owning up to being wrong. That's that shit's easy. Right? It's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, it's easy when I you do it a lot too, like I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you wrong a lot? You don't seem the type to be wrong a lot. Uh, like <laughs> I feel like this is a trick question. No, no, depends no, on who you doing. ask. I'm you're not. Oh man, I. Uh, I'm wrong a lot because I, I that's how I learn. Like I, if I'm questioning something, then I just start throwing out what I think because that's the process of me like learning. Like if I'm able to relate something to somebody in a way that like I can understand, then it's easier for them to correct me and relate it back to me, if that makes sense. So <laughs> Ike says you're always wrong. Ike, Ike, you about to get another text message. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. This is this is the one this I, what I was gonna say. I'm wrong all I said the time. a minute ago. Just ask my wife. I, it, that just says <laughs> white. Yeah, it just says you're dead. I just uh, said that to Ike a minute ago. Um, Ike, I know where you live. Ish. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, just, just uh, I'm not worried about being wrong. That's the whole point, right? I think everybody is like, oh, you they want to see some kind of like WWE thing and like you know, you know, somebody's gonna come on here and like we're gonna yeah, just us, flying elbow. All, like that's, it's, it's not going to be that <laughs> entertaining. The only time I don't for. like being wrong mm-hmm. is like when I do a review, like a measurement, and I was certain that it was right, and I I published the data, and then I find out that I'm wrong. Like I, I hate being wrong because I've already posted it right, and mm, yeah. it's harder to do spillage recovery when misinformation has been put out there, right? Like. I hate mm. being wrong like that. I hate when I already have spread unintentionally spread misinformation. That's the worst kind of being wrong. Yeah, but it you, you finalize it. So, yeah. Elon, when, when, well, so kind of like back to our toolkit, right? Mm-hmm. If we're wrong on this physical disc, there's no like undo. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you, you, we made a thousand of them. Like, yeah, what are we gonna do now? Like, so that's why we're very careful about that. Elon, when, like, what's a when do you not like to be wrong? Or are you? What's your stance on like being corrected? Oh, I I'm all for it. Like I I, I can take criticism. I mean, just like you know, when Chana called me up after he saw my video and was like, "Hey, I never thought about doing the timing like that, but I did it kind of wrong <laughs> at the same time." Like, I mean, it, it was it was just a, a different approach, but at the same time, I didn't go into my preamp and then you know mess with the distances that way to also have the acoustic alignment mm. um but i mean i, I mean i didn't say you were wrong i, I actually i asked i'm like did you read the manual yeah. <laughs> he's like i kind of skimmed through it yeah I, I don't i would expect elon to not read the manual yeah right yeah. you're a, you know if you're a he's reviewer a you just go and start reviewing just, like, yeah, let me test go. this out i'm just trying it let me see what's up yeah let me see so, this thing so, actually so, works there. yeah I don't want to be, uh, you know, might be biased. Might have some stuff in the manual like, yeah, this is gonna sound great. Just listen out for the, <laughs> yeah, listen out for want, the. Uh, you want that in there? <laughs> should I start doing that in the in the full guide? 
Yeah. Just listen out for yeah. the for the images to snap into place as you snap. Uh, <laughs> um no, but you know what's funny is if you're willing to be wrong, right? And you're just going to try some, you know, you're willing to try something out and possibly be wrong. You actually might discover something kind of cool. Yeah. Right. So like that might be something I can recommend to people is when you're doing the timing thing, number one, try to move the speaker. If you can, if you have no option, then just use the delay. Yeah. Right. But if you have the option to actually move the speaker, it's like, yeah, exactly. That's a better way. It's better to move the speaker, mm -hmm. you know? Like yeah, when we were talking car audio, you don't have the choice. Like speakers just, it's there. Yeah. So you just use the delay, but yeah, you can, if you can move the speaker, that's the best anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I don't, I don't mind. I mean, it's one thing for people to, to be like a bitch about it when they're telling me how I'm wrong. But, you know, there's, <laughs> you don't like how they're telling you. Yeah. There, there's obviously a, 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 a nicer way to go about Telling me that I'm wrong. So, what would be the what would be a way that you wouldn't like? Um, well, just the other day, there was a, there was a a comment on the XLR versus RCA video that I did several uh -huh. months ago, mm -hmm. and like, I mean, yeah, I I don't tout myself. I you know I don't have a lower third Chiron that comes up that says audio expert anywhere in my videos <laughs> I'm like i'm a consumer i love audio uh, i'm a big fan of movies i'm a, I'm a cinephile um I, you know I, i've went to school for audio engineering for music but like i just love audio and i love how it makes me feel when it sounds spectacular but i'm just a consumer like the rest of you and i love doing research about audio so honestly, I'm learning just like anybody else as I'm doing this, as mm -hmm. I'm trying to present this information. So this this dude like spouted this, I don't know, like six or seven paragraphs in this comment about why I'm wrong about you know, <laughs> saying how XLR actually works versus RCA. And at the end, like obviously I didn't read the whole thing because I didn't need to. If somebody's going to take the time to write out an epistle on why I'm wrong, then it's like, okay, whatever. Just just go, like, you clearly had enough time to, to show just how wrong I, uh, I was. Mm -hmm. But, like, yeah, I, I just don't, that kind of shit just bounces off me. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I think it's when there's a, an attack on your character first. Right, it's like I can't get past it. Like he said, you're. He said I'm a liar. Mm -hmm. I'm not a liar. And then like everything else could be correct from there on. But I'm like, just turned off by the way you know somebody would approach it. But See, but I I do you know. Oh, they yeah, tell you're wrong. Sometimes I just get over it. I'm like you know all right, let me ignore this first part, read the <laughs> right. rest, and then I usually I'll reply back nicely, and they're like, oh yeah, sorry about that, like. I know. Bad day. Nine times you know what I mean? Those are the best. When they're like, sorry about that, dude. You're like, that wasn't cool. Like, yeah. oh, I didn't even have to say it. Right. You realize. Yeah. I, I can't know. get over if, I if they... I responded to that long epistle just with a... Did. It's just a cool with a thumbs up. And that was it. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's... I'll that's, usually say thank you for sharing. Yeah. That's all he's... Something like that. Now, if you can't catch the show, we do have an audio version at anchor.fm slash daily hi-fi. So make sure to go on over there if you like to listen to the show.